Hey everybody, so a while ago I've actually put up an Instagram story about a new recipe that I've been trying out uh, which is cold salmon cream chowder and I've been asking you guys if you want to see it because it actually turned out to be really delicious and most of you re replied uh, saying yes so here it is, I'm ready to share the recipe with you guys um, October is definitely one of my favorite times of the year in the Fraser Valley it's coho salmon fishing season and you can go down to the river these fish are readily available uh, it's a great source of protein for your meals and uh, you can make it into many different tasty uh, recipes including smoked salmon, grilled salmon, uh, miso soup uh, which you've seen in one of our recipes, grab lax. Uh, yeah so the options are endless uh, so today this is just adding one more to the list and it's so simple you, you definitely have to try this um, the prep time takes up most of the cooking time for this recipe so I've been cutting up all the vegetables including um, onions, uh, leek, uh, carrots and potatoes and then you also have the star of the recipe which is cold salmon so this cold salmon I caught uh, recently is roughly around 4 pounds big I just filleted, uh, skinned it and cut them into small pieces and it's ready to go and then you have your usual seasonings including salt and pepper, nutmeg, brown sugar and of course cream and yeah so once you have this all the ingredients ready all you gotta do is chuck them in the pot and you're ready to go oh of course you need butter so we're gonna get some butter we're gonna fry up the salmon first and then I'll show you guys uh, how to do the rest So that has uh, fried up quite nicely. I'm gonna take that out now. I'm gonna prepare the rest of the vegetables. So I've actually added a bit of um, uh, grapeseed oil into the pan um, just to fry up the vegetables nicely. So the first thing that goes in there is onions. I'm gonna brown that a little bit. And you can see there's a bit of a coat, there's a, there's a thin layer of coating of the, um, the brown salmon on the very bottom. Uh, don't have to worry about that. Um, that will come off eventually, it will just add more flavor into the soup. So in goes the leek as well, <coughs> and uh, followed by the carrots and potatoes. I'm just gonna stir fry that for a little bit, for um, a few minutes. I've added the salmon back into it. Um, added a couple of tablespoons of uh, flour into it just to uh, mix it up with the with everything. And now the water's gonna go in. And we're gonna let it simmer for uh, I don't know an hour or two hours. Okay, so that's it. So water has gone into this pot. Um, <clears throat> I've added a bay leaf into it, and that's gonna simmer for an hour or two hours. Uh, so I'm just gonna go edit some videos and come back in two hours and this should be ready. Um, the la very last thing we have to do is we have to adjust the taste. So seasonings will have to go in um, once this soup has reduced. So we'll come back in two hours and show you guys the results. So here we are. Um, the soup has been simmering for over an hour now. I've been adding some salt some pepper, some cream, and some brown sugar into it to balance it out to adjust the taste. Um, the good thing about soup is that you can't make a mistake. You can always fix it to some extent. So let's say if you add too much salt into it, um, you can add, always add more water into it to balance it out. Um, so I like to add you know, a little bit into it and then taste it and see what else I need and then kind of adjust um, the balance after that. So. There you have it. I think I finally got the flavor right. We're gonna scoop some out into a bowl and give it a taste. Ok, 
Okay, so let's give it a go. It's very, very hot. Um, like I say, this is a perfect dish for the um, cold, I guess, fall and winter months. So you can stock up your freezer with cold salmon and just make this um, throughout the whole season. My cat wants some too. Hmm, it's really good. It's uh, really flavorful and uh, just very, it's very warm and just very filling. I can feel it's very filling, but it's got tons of vegetables in there. So it's, it's a great way of getting your vegetables as well, um, having your soup like this. Hmm. Perfect. So there you have it. Um, like I said, this is extremely easy to make and uh, you can totally get the ingredients by going out, catching your own cold salmon, get the vegetables, and um, within an hour and a half, you can have a pot of really tasty cold salmon cream chowder that will last for several meals. If you have any other questions, um, please leave it on the comment, and if you have any suggestions as, as well, um, definitely let me know. And uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video recipe. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And until next time, good luck fishing and enjoy eating. Mmm. You want some too, eh?